Hey guys, welcome back to OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to upgrade Oracle 12C into 19C using the ARM and Backup. This video is going to be very very interesting. Before starting my tutorial, I have only one request to all of you. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe the channel and like comment on the video. So without wasting a time, let's move on the computer screen. In this activity, I'm following a document which is already available on our website. You will get the document link in video description. So in this practice, my environment is first, you should install the Oracle 19C software only on your machine. My Oracle 12C home is user one and Oracle 19C home in slash aura 19C. This is the separate mount point for the 19C. Step one, login into the database and check the database registry and other details. My database name is digital. As you can see, DBA registry is valid and real application cluster status is off right now. So after upgradation, the DBA registry status should be the same. Step 2. Create Armen Backup. Before creating a RMAN backup, let's create a separate directory for the RMAN backup. In my case, I'm creating a directory u01 RMAN underscore BKP. I will create my database entire backup in this directory. This is my RMAN backup script. You can use the same script or you can use your own script to take the RMAN backup. Okay, it's done now. Step 3 create P file from SP file. I am performing this activity on the same machine. So I have done all the activity which is needed on the Oracle 12C environment. So now I am going to shut down the 12C environment. Copy the Armen backup with P file on 19C location. My new backup location is Aura 19C slash Armen. So I will move entire backup in this directory. Okay. Step 4. Edit P file as per the 19C environment. Change compatible parameter 12C to 19C and change the directory as per the 19C also. Okay, it's done. Now, step 5. Start database 19C till no mount stays with the P file. Now, set the Oracle 19C environment first. You should remember these things. This is the environment parameters which you need to add in the Oracle bash profile or you can create the separate environment file which you need to execute before logging into the 19C. Step 6. Restore control file from backup using RMAN. Once control file recovered successfully, start the database till mount stage. Ok, it's done now. Step 7. Rename readlog files before restoring the RMAN backup. You can do this at rman prompt also but i'm doing this on the sql prompt using the following commands now step 8 start restoration process
and this is my restoration script which I am going to execute here to restore the database. Okay, now restoration is completed. Try to open the database with reset log keyword. Okay, it's giving an error. Database must be open with the upgrade option. So, what I need to do? I need to open the database with upgrade option. Okay, let me open the database with the upgrade option. Okay, it's open now. We need to execute cat upgrade.sql script which is responsible to upgrade the database. Let me do it. Okay, here you can see clear message from Oracle. The database is not support now to execute the cat upgrade script from the SQL prompt directly. Run it with parallel C the command. It is giving a suggestion how we can do that. So let me follow the same steps. Go on the script location using the cd command and check both script is available here or not. Yes, it is available here. Let's run it with the parallel utility using the following command. Okay, it is running. It will take time. So let me fast forward the video. Finally, congratulations, upgradation has been completed successfully. Let's verify the details. Login into the database and create a SP file from the P file. And start the database normally. Let's check the database registry also. You can see here the registry status has the value is upgraded. That means entire database has been upgraded successfully. So let me compile the invalid objects using the utlrp utility and after that we will check again dba registry. Let me do it quickly. Okay, it's done now. Let me verify again dba registry. And this time, the all the status is in valid stage. I hope you really learned something from this video. If yes, please write your feeling in comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.